Now that we know we are going to use tokens for authentication, let's understand what exactly is a token and how we will be generating and verifying tokens in our application. The token we will be using contains JSON data and is called a JSON Web Token. A JSON Web Token or JOT is how it is pronounced is a JSON object that is defined as a safe way to represent a set of information between two parties. The token is composed of a header, a payload and a signature. So a JOT is just a string with the following format header dot payload dot signature. The header typically consists of two parts, the type of the token which is JOT and the hashing algorithm being used. The payload component of the JOT is the data that's stored inside the JSON Web Token. In our example, the server creates a JOT with the user ID stored inside the payload and the signature is used to verify the token. You can go to jot.io for more information on the format. For us though, what really matters is how a JOT is generated and verified. For that, we use the JSON Web Token NPM package. To generate a new token, we use the sign method passing the payload and a secret key and any options if required. So jot.sign is the method to generate a JSON Web Token. Now the token is then sent as a response to the front end. And the same token is sent back to the server with every subsequent request. And to verify the token sent back from the front end, we use the verify method passing in the token itself along with the same secret key that was used to sign and any options again if required. So jot.verify is used to verify the token in the backend. All right, with this simple introduction, Let's see how to generate tokens in the backend when a user registers or logs in.